Welcome. In this module, we'll look at security tools used by the typical enterprise, and this is part one. Now, when we're assessing and looking for security tools, one of the best ways that you can do this is look at the Gartner Magic Quadrant reports. And Gartner is um, an industry leader in this aspect, and what they do is that they issue industry reports. These reports are paid reports, but many of the vendors uh, release free copies on their websites uh, for these reports. Okay, so let's have a look. And then in this module, we'll also talk about some of the other sources with which you can evaluate and research um, which security tools are available and which ones are the best. Now in this slide, this is the first one, and this is for endpoint protection. And by that, we actually mean the antivirus. And this is from January 2017 from Gartner. And if you look at the Gartner Magic Quadrant, this is what the graphic actually looks like when you look at the reports. Now there are four quadrants. The top right quadrant is the leader's quadrant. And the one to the left is the challengers, which is basically the second category. And then you have visionaries and niche players also. Now in, in, these, uh, in this graphic, in the four quadrants, along the x-axis we have completeness of vision. So as you move to the right, we have more completeness of vision and better players. And as you move up along the y-axis, we have ability to execute. So if you actually look at Trend Micro, which is furthest to the right, meaning it has the best completeness of vision, and it is also the topmost vertically, which means that it has the best ability to execute. So always in the Gartner Magic Quadrant, whatever lies furthest to the right and top on the top vertically would be the best uh, vendor comparison. And here in this one, what we see is for endpoint protection in this report, Trend Micro was the best, and then Sophos, and then Kaspersky, and then Semantic. Now, this is the next one, and this is for Secure Web Gateway. And as we had discussed, Secure Web Gateway is your, your platform or your device which sits in the DMZ. All user traffic from computers, which is directed, which is uh, browsing the web, would go to the Secure Web Gateway, and that maintains a database um, of malicious websites. If a malicious website is what the user is trying to access in the outside world, the Secure Web Gateway will block that and will, uh, give, a, will give a message on the screen. And this acts as a proxy, uh, this, this device. So what we see here is that Semantic and Zscaler are the two top vendors. Zscaler has better uh, completeness of vision because it's furthest on the x-axis. And ability to execute is better for Semantic um, because it's higher. So these two are the top vendors for Secure Web Gateway from June 2017. Now going to the next one, this is for UTM, which is for Unified Threat Management Box. And this is actually also a pizza box, single device, which has multi-functions. And that's why it's called UTM. And this is for Small and Medium Business Multi-Function Firewall from June 2017. If you look at the top vendors, Fortinet is uh, by far the best one. Um, and uh, then you have Checkpoint also. So Fortinet and Checkpoint were the best two. And then you have other vendors which are around that uh, as well. Now for Enterprise Network Firewalls from May 2016 from, uh, from Gartner, we have two main vendors, which are Palo Alto, and then you have Checkpoint, which is lying at a distance. So the difference between an Enterprise Network Firewall and a UTM, which we had seen previously, is that the Enterprise Network is a carrier-grade um, a device which perhaps a telco would use. It's a more serious box, and it gives serious firewall functionality as compared to a UTM, which is used, let's say, for small and medium business. Okay, so Palo Alto is a clear leader in enterprise network firewalls. And then for CM, uh, which is Security Information and Event Management from August 2016, what we see is we have IBM, Splunk, and Logarithm, which are the top three vendors. Uh, IBM slightly better in ability to execute, Splunk sl slightly better in the completeness of vision. So we have three vendors and then Logarithm is also doing very well here. And then we move to DLP or data loss prevention from February 2017. And we have three main vendors here, Semantic, Digital Guardian and Forcepoint for DLP. DLP is used on the host device and sometimes it has a network portion as well. And it helps you to control um, various aspects of the host so that data is controlled and data loss is prevented. And these are complete suites and solutions for data loss prevention. And then you have application security testing from February 2017 from Gartner. 
And we have HP, Hewlett Packard, Veracode, and IBM, which are the top three vendors over here. HP is the best one in this, uh, in this graphic. Now, as you can see, um, the Gartner reports give a very nice comparison and they place uh, different vendors on the, on the graphic and then the leaders quadrant is, is where you look at. So we should look at these reports when evaluating and, and searching for security tools from Gartner, Forrester. There are some security awards uh, which are given out. And then you have lab reports from ICSA and NSS as well, which we should look at. And these are also available on the vendor websites. Thank you.